Well, first and foremost, I think it's important for us to uh, understand that this is an ideological assault, um, you know, on on uh, um, you know British society by uh, a Tory-led administration in in Westminster, uh, which is there in our view to finish the job the st Thatcher started, and that's to dismantle the whole of the uh, welfare state with all the the implications that that has for working people and disadvantaged people. Um, I think it's important for us in Wales to re remember that um, you know we're not at war or we don't we're not at odds with the, the Welsh Assembly government. The Welsh Assembly government, uh, in actual fact, are as much victims of the cuts to the Welsh budget uh, by uh, central government in Westminster as anybody else is. So uh, we're we're not uh, you know uh, ex we're not going to uh, use up all our energies in barracking you know the Welsh Assembly government. Our our uh, uh, argument is with central government in Westminster. See the the GMB um, is an organisation. Uh, 600,000 plus members and we're very much involved in both the public and the private sector and what we've seen um, since the election uh, where the Tories and the Lib Dems joined together is, uh, is a big attack on the terms and conditions of employment of their members both in the public and in the private sector um, an attack on the pensions of those people working in, in the public service and in general an attack on, on, um, on, on all of the dearly held conditions that have been negotiated over many, many years. And this is under the guise, of course, of uh, uh, getting the deficit down, uh, getting the country back on its feet. But in reality, as we've seen, it's done nothing of the sort. Uh, the growth figures are, are completely flat and we're not too far away from moving back into uh, the double dip recession that uh, has been on the cars now for some time. Now, um, from our point of view, we believe that there, is, there are obviously alternatives uh, to these cuts, um, you know, that uh, aren't going to be considered by this government. They're not looking for, for alternatives, to be quite candid with you. I think all the government is looking for is for confrontation. Uh, they want to reduce costs, hitting the most vulnerable people in our society. Uh, the most vulnerable, of course, are going to pay the, the, the price, the old, you know, the elderly, the, the infirm, uh, the disadvantaged people, uh, because there's going to be, there will be knock-on cuts to social services, etc. So it's the, the poorer people that, uh, that are going to feel the, uh, the ill effects of the government's cuts. And from our point of view, you know, we're convinced uh, that this government simply want to make you know, working people pay for the wilder excesses of their friends uh, in the, the financial institutions who have been gambling recklessly uh, you know, on the markets. The message I think that the GMB would have for the government is basically back off, back off, get away from this, um, uh, this, this, uh, this attack on working people and let's start to see some sustained growth. And of course I think what we just need to say is that this is nothing surprising because the Tories have always cut jobs, the Tories always attacked old people, the Tories have always attacked young people. This is what the Tories do. So the message has got to be just back off.